FeatureCam can also allow simple 2D toolpaths to be created from curves. This example will go through creating a toolpath to face the bottom of this casting in an efficient manner. FeatureCam also has its own built-in solid modeling module. We'll make a few simple edits to this model to show how it can be beneficial compared to a full-featured CAD system. So I'm going to activate Setup 1 and reorientate my model. I'm then going to zoom into the countable feature shown in green. I wish to delete this feature from my model so I'm going to select one of the faces in green and using my shortcut key make a full selection for all green faces. I can then come to my solids toolbar and this has been switched on by selecting solid from the toolbar options. So I'm going to choose to delete face and in this particular instance I'll be modifying the existing solid and healing remaining faces. I can do a preview and then apply an OK and we can see the detail has been removed from the solid model. I wish to also repeat this for the orange holes around the outer part of the model so once again I'm going to select one of the orange faces using my shortcut key Alt S make a full selection of all orange faces I'm then going to use my delete face in the same manner as before, modifying the existing solid and healing remaining faces. I'm now going to activate setup 2 and once again reorientate my model. This time I wish to remove this grooved feature shown here. I could do this in two ways. I could select all of the faces that make up the groove feature or I could simply offset the lower face shown in red. So I'm going to do that and choose to offset faces. I'll be offsetting this by two millimeters and again I can preview apply and OK and that's removed the groove feature like so. Finally I'm going to offset this face shown here so that I have some material to face away. So I'm going to select offset faces this time the distance will be one millimeter and I can apply and OK. So I'm now happy with this cast model so I'm going to go into my stock properties and specify I'm using a user defined stock and choose my stock solid. I'm now going to create a facing feature to face this surface. So with setup to active and the surface highlighted I can come to my new feature wizard select facing and extract with feature recognition the face is added into my wizard and I can simply accept the defaults in tooling and strategy I can say finish I'm just going to choose a different location of minus one millimeters so I can say OK and run through a 3D simulation In this instance we see the result as shown which is what we wanted and we can see the surface is faced. However if we preview the toolpath in a centerline simulation we can see the path of the toolpath which in this instance is an inefficient way to face this part due to the amount of air cutting. So in order to make the toolpath more efficient, we can create a toolpath from a curve. So I'm just going to turn off this face feature here.
and I'm going to choose this surface and create a curve from the inner edge. So I'm going to select from the curve wizard to create a curve from surface and select the method of surface edges. I can then select the relevant edge that I wish, double clicking to create an entire curve. All of the relevant surfaces and faces have been added into the wizard. I can choose to connect the start and end points and simply choose to finish. I can now hide all and show all my curves and we have that inner, inner curve that's been created. So I'm going to use this curve as the basis of my toolpath creation. However, I wish to make a few simple edits to the curve prior to creating my toolpath. So I'm going to construct some geometry from the curve. I'm going to hide all and show all geometry. And I'm going to make some changes to this lower right region. So I'm going to remove the fillet and using my extend tool extend the lines outwards to give me a lead in and out. I then wish to recreate a curve from this geometry. There are various ways I can do this. I can choose to pick the pieces individually or in this instance I'm going to choose to create a curve from curve and select the merge curves option. I can then select all of my geometry, preview the curve created and simply say finish. So in this case we have curve 9. Now the final thing I want to do prior to creating my toolpath is just transform the location of this curve by minus 1 millimeters in the z-axis. So I can go to edit transform choose minus one for my Z location and move the curve. So now that that is complete I'm ready to begin creating my toolpath feature. So I can come to a new feature, select toolpath feature and I can choose the curve that I wish to create, in this case curve 9. So we can see the net toolpath created. I can say next and I can search for an appropriate tool. So I'm going to choose a face mill and I'm going to pick the face mill with a diameter of 80 millimeters. I can then finish at this point and preview the toolpath. I'm going to use Alt F3 key to step my tool around the toolpath like so. So we can now verify the toolpath using a 3D simulation. So there we see our cast solid. Again I'm going to use the Alt F3 key and step the tool around the toolpath like so. So we can clearly see this facing operation using a curve is far more efficient than the previous method.